Hi, my name is Nick Pidgeon, and I'm going to talk to you about a new training program that could quite possibly transform your experience of work. This all started for me with my wife becoming a whistleblower. She raised some concerns about bad practice in a social work project and was subjected to an 18-month campaign of psychological assault. Now, I'm a trainer. I've trained thousands of people in hundreds of organisations in six countries over the last 20 years. So I thought, well, where is the training to prevent the influence of difficult people on the workplace? Where is the training to prevent the development of a toxic workplace culture? And what I discovered was, well, there really isn't anything adequate. So I researched the area, and what I discovered was the great untold story of the workplace. It's a story of lives made miserable, but it's also a story of efficiency, care, fun, energy, and creativity disappearing down the drain. It's a story that contains some incredible facts. Over a quarter of the workforce in Britain, Australia, and America have suffered psychological abuse, most of this within the previous year. And despite what you might think, the evidence suggests these are the most skilled, competent workers. But abusive behaviour at work is not just directed inwards at employees. It's also directed outwards at the very people the organisation is set up to serve. There are over 100,000 reports of care home abuse in Britain every year. There have been thousands of cases of child abuse reported in children's homes, schools and religious organisations. And over 5,000 whistleblowers in local authorities, the health service and the police have been forced to sign gagging orders for raising concerns. There appears to be an established but secret process to discredit, banish and silence whistleblowers there's even expert help available to achieve this. One percent of the people at work have no conscience at all. That's over 300,000 people out there working in offices, shops and factories across Britain. These people can appear convincing, charming, charismatic, but they lie, deceive, manipulate, they wreck lives and they destroy organisations from the inside, all to further their own end. With Philip Zimbardo's prison experiment over 40 years ago and Stanley Milgram's work on obedience, we began to understand how a toxic workplace culture forms. We now know what makes even good people behave abusively. But for 40 years, we've ignored this. All of this costs. It wrecks lives, but we all pay for it financially. It's been estimated that every year in the UK we flush at least £18 billion down the drain because of the influence of difficult people at work. The Stanford business professor Robert Sutton suggests that every organisation should calculate the cost of such waste. He has a refreshing way of describing this. He calls it the TCA, the total cost of arseholes. But this course is not just about the problems. It also provides a solution. It's a solution that's not easy. But I believe after the course you'll think to yourself, well, why have we not always done this? I really believe that this new training program contains information that everyone who goes to work and all employers need to know. Thank you for listening.